Remember the winter of 2010, when the UK was buried under snow, or the beast from the east in 2018? Those moments showed us how a true British winter can bring the country to a standstill. Airports closed, trains stranded, supermarket shelves emptied, reminders that, despite our technology, we're still at the mercy of the elements. Each big freeze teaches us how to cope and look out for one another. As we approach winter 2025-26, these memories shape our concerns. Could we face another legendary cold spell? By looking at the past and current global patterns, we can start to piece together what might be heading our way. Snowpocalypse. It's more than just a catchy headline or a trending hashtag on social media. The word itself is a blend of snow and apocalypse, and it's used to describe a snowstorm so extreme that it feels almost world-ending, at least for a few days. When you hear this term, it's not just about a bit of snow on the ground or a chilly morning. It's about a weather event that completely transforms daily life, often in dramatic and unexpected ways. A snowpocalypse means a snowstorm so severe it brings everything to a standstill. Roads become impassable, public transport grinds to a halt, and even the simplest errands, like popping to the shop, can become impossible. Schools and businesses close, and entire communities can find themselves isolated for days. We're talking about deep snowdrifts that block roads and doorways, snowplows working around the clock but struggling to keep up, and power lines weighed down by heavy, wet snow. In rural areas, villages can be cut off entirely, with emergency services stretched to their limits. The term snowpocalypse grabs attention for good reason. It signals that this isn't just another snow day, but a major event that demands real preparation and caution. News outlets and emergency services use it to make sure people understand the seriousness of the situation. When we use words like snowpocalypse, it's to encourage everyone to take warnings seriously. It's a reminder to check your emergency supplies, reconsider travel plans, and look out for neighbors who might need help. Community spirit becomes essential as people band together to get through the worst of the storm. Ultimately, a snowpocalypse is defined by its impact, when our infrastructure simply can't keep up and nature takes over. Trains and buses are canceled, cars are abandoned, and even the most prepared cities can struggle to cope. As we look ahead to winter 2025 to 26, it's important to remember that these events can and do happen. City officials and emergency planners are already preparing, but individual readiness is just as crucial. So, when you hear the word snowpocalypse, don't dismiss it as hype. It's a real call to action, a reminder to prepare, stay informed, and help each other weather whatever winter brings. So, what are the experts predicting for winter 2025 to 26? While the Met Office is cautious, many signals point to a higher chance of a cold, blocked weather pattern. Factors like Pacific sea temperatures, Arctic ice, and Siberian snow cover all influence the jet stream, and this year, they suggest a weaker, wavier pattern, prime conditions for cold air to reach the UK. Some independent meteorologists are even predicting a winter to rival 2010, especially if a sudden stratospheric warming event disrupts the polar vortex. It's not a guarantee, but the consensus is stronger than usual. The ingredients are there for a colder, snowier winter. That's why we're talking about it now, so everyone can prepare. How can global warming lead to a record cold winter? It's all about the difference between climate and weather. As the Arctic warms faster than the rest of the planet, the jet stream weakens and meanders, sometimes letting frigid air spill south over the UK for weeks. This is what happened during the beast from the east. A warmer atmosphere also holds more moisture, so when cold Arctic air meets milder, wet Atlantic air, we get heavier snow. So, paradoxically, climate change can actually increase the risk of intense cold snaps and snowstorms here. The threat of a snowpocalypse isn't a contradiction, it's a consequence of our changing climate. 
High above the North Pole, there's a powerful force shaping our winters. The polar vortex. This swirling mass of icy air spins tens of kilometers above the Earth, forming a kind of invisible barrier that usually keeps the harshest Arctic cold locked far away from the UK and much of Europe. It's like a giant, frigid guardian, circling the pole and holding back the worst of winter's bite. Most of the time, this vortex is stable and strong, trapping the cold in the far north and keeping our winters relatively mild. But sometimes, dramatic events in the upper atmosphere, like sudden stratospheric warming, where temperatures in the stratosphere suddenly spike, can disrupt this balance. When that happens, the polar vortex can start to wobble, weaken, or even split into smaller swirling eddies, losing its grip on the Arctic cold. This allows frigid air to escape and surge southwards, sweeping across Europe and the UK, bringing with it the potential for severe winter weather. The process isn't instant. It can take a couple of weeks for these atmospheric changes to work their way down to the surface and reach us. But when the cold finally arrives, it can plunge the UK into a deep and prolonged freeze, with heavy snow, icy winds, and treacherous conditions lasting for days or even weeks. The infamous Beast from the East in 2018 was a textbook example of this phenomenon, when a disrupted polar vortex unleashed a wave of Siberian air, blanketing the UK in snow and causing chaos. Now, as we look ahead to winter 2025 to 26, early signs from atmospheric models suggest the polar vortex may once again be unstable, raising the risk of another major cold spell. If the vortex wobbles or weakens, we could see a repeat of those extreme conditions, with widespread snow, ice, and bitterly cold temperatures. That's why meteorologists and climate scientists are watching the stratosphere more closely than ever, analyzing every shift and swirl in the polar vortex for clues about what's to come. If the vortex loses its strength, the UK could be in for a winter that's not just cold, but truly severe one that tests our infrastructure and resilience. It's this unpredictable, wobbly giant above us that has experts concerned, and why the coming months could be critical for the UK's winter weather outlook. When heavy snow hits the UK, the effects are both immediate and far-reaching. Roads quickly become gridlocked, with cars stuck for hours or even overnight, and entire villages can find themselves completely cut off from the outside world. The picturesque snow transforms into a serious obstacle, making even short journeys impossible for many. Public transport grinds to a halt as well. Trains freeze on the tracks, unable to move, and airports are forced to close, grounding flights and stranding thousands of travellers. Buses and taxis are often cancelled, leaving commuters with no way to get home or to work the entire transport network can be paralyzed in a matter of hours. For many, this means being stranded far from home, sometimes in freezing conditions. Schools shut down, forcing parents to scramble for last-minute childcare or take unexpected days off work. Children may enjoy a rare snow day, but for families, it can be a logistical nightmare. The problems don't stop there. Heavy snow and ice can bring down power lines, plunging entire neighborhoods into darkness and leaving homes without heat. Frozen pipes often burst, flooding houses and causing expensive damage that can take weeks to repair. The elderly and vulnerable are especially at risk, struggling to get food, medicine, or even just to stay warm. Emergency services face huge challenges, battling treacherous roads to reach those in need sometimes delayed by hours. Hospitals see a sharp rise in injuries from slips, falls, and cold exposure. Ambulances and paramedics are stretched thin, responding to accidents and emergencies caused by the severe weather. The NHS feels the strain as more people seek help for weather-related injuries and illnesses. A major snow event can quickly escalate into a national crisis, revealing just how fragile our daily routines and infrastructure really are. Busy high streets fall silent, and once bustling motorways become eerily deserted, lined with abandoned vehicles. It's a powerful reminder that winter weather can bring the entire country to a standstill in just a few hours. 
Being prepared isn't just a good idea. It's absolutely essential for staying safe and keeping life moving when the snow starts to fall. Preparing your home and family now can make all the difference if severe weather strikes. Service your boiler, know where your stopcock is, and put together a simple emergency kit. Torches, batteries, radio, power bank, blankets, and non-perishable food. Insulate outdoor pipes, clear gutters, and keep grit handy for paths. Check on elderly neighbours, make sure they're warm and stocked up. A strong community is the best defence against winter's worst. By preparing together, we keep everyone safer and more resilient. Peace of mind starts with a little planning. If you must travel in severe winter weather, preparation is vital. Check your car's tyres, fluids and lights, and keep a winter kit blanket, food, water, shovel, torch and phone charger. Always check forecasts and let someone know your route. Drive slowly, leave extra space, and avoid sudden moves. Skids are easy to trigger on ice. If stranded, stay with your car, run the engine occasionally for warmth, and keep the exhaust clear. Crack a window for fresh air and wait for help. No journey is worth risking your life. When in doubt, stay put. With signs pointing to a potentially severe winter, staying informed is your best defense. Check reliable sources like the Met Office for updates and warnings. Know what yellow, amber and red alerts mean. Take practical steps now. Service your boiler, prep your emergency kit and check on neighbours. Preparation reduces anxiety and empowers you to face winter's challenges. Even in the harshest weather, there's beauty and community spirit to be found. By staying alert and looking out for each other, we can weather whatever comes our way. Stay safe stay warm, and let's face this winter together.